What's going on guys? Well, before we get into this video today, I mean, this was a pretty epic video, but I figured what better way to celebrate the fact that I just hit over 5,000 on Instagram by giving away a piece of Christopher Scott merch. Somewhere in this video, there's going to be a little clip that tells you how to enter. All you have to do is just simply enter and you'll get your chance to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch of your choice from thefanaticbrand.com. So stay tuned, make sure you pay attention and enter as it tells you. What is going on everybody? Well, we are back for another video today. And today we're actually in beautiful South Florida yet again, hanging out with none other than Paul Cafaro. And today we actually have something special planned. So, you know, Paul's been struggling for a while now with his two flower horns and the fact that their home is a little too small. It's time to upgrade. He's been looking for weeks now. A hundred gallon plus tank is just not easy to come by in South Florida for some reason. So, you know, one of the things I wanted to do is see if we could get that upgraded while we here and uh, that's what we're gonna focus on today and in, in this video so Paul's a great guy and it's nice to do nice things for people so let's get out and see if we can find a tank for Paul today all right let's get this tank in here for Paul slide it slide the DMs well, I got it as clean as I possibly could, buddy. Dude, this is gonna look dope in there. So let me go grab the other bucket. Paul, so what's so important about this gravel? Like, why is it so good? The good thing is the last gravel was pellets. So this gravel is slate rock. So in that case, they can't move this egg crate because they used to just push the little pebbles away. This light is the one we're gonna use. Uh, the other one was like, you know, not the best. There was a piece of junk. So I wanted to do it like about right there. Brenton, what do you think is gonna happen? Do you think Paul's gonna enjoy this tank? Do you think he's gonna like sleep in it? What I think is it's gonna get three quarters of the way filled up, crack, break, flood the whole house. He's gonna have to move out. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. You're welcome, Paul. So what's left, Paul? You know what's left? What? It's the easiest part. Having an automatic filling system. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you to the people that watch these videos, obviously. Probably wasn't possible without them. You're a full-time YouTuber, huh? Uh, well, I mean, I try to be. I mean, this one day. It was too small. So they were getting big. You know, they were babies when I got them. It was split right here. They had like, I think it was 24, 25 gallons per fish. Now he bumped it up and doubled that. That's good. So we're looking for anything over 100 gallons. We found 100. I'm excited because it's all enclosed. Everything's gonna look good. We're gonna paint this white and everything's gonna match in here. All white. Like seriously though, like at some point, if you don't do this, we'll come back and I will I'm we'll escape it. it. Let's I'll escape wait. it. Like yeah. really I'll let epic. you do the escaping because I'm not the greatest. I like simple stuff. Yeah. Some people are like, oh, you never even escape. You don't know how to escape. I don't even like, I like simple as that. Like dude, we simple. could escape that with fake plants even so you don't have to worry about them dying That'd and it would be epic. But yeah, let's do that. Like this has been an epic like trip. This might have been one of the best trips, man. Right. I mean Literally. like this is like. You guys always come for two to three days. So you gotta I know. come for like a week. We're gonna come for a week. And I we'll promise. Work done, Next you know? time. Well, I mean, we got a lot of work. Done. My arms are dead. I mean, like we got a new tank. You've been lordified. lordified. We clean the garage. We fixed the, fountain, we fixed the fountain. Clean the garage. I mean, like we did a lot, dude. Yes, as always, I appreciate it. Thank you for everything thank you, you do. Thank you for the aquarium, man. No, absolutely, dude. That but you also, I mean, amazing. like, listen, you probably don't get this enough, but thank you for what you do for the YouTube community. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Like, without All you, a good. lot of the, these people wouldn't even be around, including me. So I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, well, that's big to say. Thank you, you so much. I mean? And if you're not subscribed to Chris's channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button for me. See? For Chris. Cause that was expensive it was but that's okay it was worth it hit the like button yeah that's all i gotta say and subscribe <laughs> if you're from my channel because i know i sent a bunch of you guys over make sure to hit that subscribe button yeah well i appreciate it all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed that video but before we get out of here we're gonna walk around and take a look at some of paul's animals since we're here we might as well i mean let, let's start with the pigs look at all the pigs the pigs look fantastic look you know what they're following me right now because all they want to do is eat they don't care about me they just literally want to eat you want some <laughs> That's it. Nope, no more food. Go get some over there. The pigs are looking great. We got a lot accomplished while we were here. Like we helped Paul set up the new fountain in the pond, which looks absolutely amazing. All the ducks are good. Shut up, Gary. At least you're not an asshole like Bobby. All right, look at all the pigs. They're all looking good. I'll tell you, 
Old Boots is mad because he can't get up over the fence anymore. Like, so mad. Look at him over there. He's like, oh my God, I got stuck. Oh, wow. Hey, none of that. You're too young for that. Not until you're older. Look at the cock right there. Hey, bro. Dude, like literally that thing would tear you up if you were to get in here. He is, so, oh. Look at the spurs on his feet. The turkeys, the turkeys are looking good. The turkeys over here. Okay, fine, whatever. All right, guys, well, we're walking around here at Paul's house and we are just simply, you know, looking at the animals and things of that nature. And I told you in the beginning of this video that we were gonna give away a piece of Christopher Scott merch from the fanaticbrand.com in celebration of these great experiences here with Paul and the fact that we hit 5,000 followers on Instagram. So if you want your chance to win a piece of Christopher Scott merch and you can get one of either of these pieces right here, which is the new Arowana merch or the Angelfish merchandise, all you have to do is just simply make sure you're subscribed make sure you like this video and make sure you drop a comment below and let me know what of paul's animals is your absolute favorite that's all you have to do and you'll get your chance to win i'll go ahead and pick a winner in the next video and i will give you instructions at that point on how you can claim your prize so make sure you like make sure you comment and let's get on with this video anyway it is crazy like every time we come something new has happened i mean paul really does a great job of keeping this place going and doing amazing great things i don't know if you know but he took his front yard pond out which i'm sure you probably do you probably saw that on his video but good for him on that and if you haven't seen that video i'll link a card up above where you can go watch that oh my gosh i lost I see that. Why do you only have one shoe? You realize we can't go to the airport like that. Like literally leave it to Brenton to lose a freaking shoe. A shoe. Like how do you lose your shoe? You know why? Because he never has shoes on. That's the problem. So anyway, back to what I was saying is it's always nice to see what Paul's doing around here. He's always doing such a great job with all of his animals and his enclosures. Like I said, we wanted to take a quick look at all the animals. What's up? Not much. <laughs> what a beautiful tank, Paul. What a beautiful tank. Where would you, where could you have possibly gotten that from? Uh, you know what? I really don't know. Some guy with a bald head. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was, I was sitting editing my video, and you know how many times you told me you're like, dude, you're blinding people with your head. It's because I have my dad. My dad's bald, so I can make fun of you. It, well, exactly. I mean, you know, and listen, we're all friends. <laughs> yes. Well, I just want to say thank you, uh, and the Caferos said thank you as well. Absolutely. Go to your channel and say thank you. Yeah, absolutely, dude. I mean, anytime, man. They look happy, though. I mean, like, Gregothy is, is, like, chilling. Gregothy <laughs> and George Jr. right here. And that's right. It's a big old tank. Thanks again, Chris. Absolutely, buddy. Hey, I'm, I'm flying out to Texas soon, all right? All right, buddy. Yeah, we'll, uh, all right. we'll be here. All right, sounds good. I'll all right, see you, see you bud. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Well, we are back in Texas, and I just wanted to stop and say real quick, thank you so very much, Paul, for giving us the ability to come out and hang out with you. I am truly grateful for that. And for all of Paul's subscribers that have come along and have decided to watch this video, let me show you a couple of reasons on why you should subscribe. We have this epic 300-gallon tank that we just set up. We built a DIY sump filtration system for. The next video is going to be coming out soon, where I'm going to be working with a world-renowned aquascaper that you may have or may have not seen on YouTube to figure out what we're gonna scape in this thing. So that video is actually coming up soon. But before that, we have another video where I surprised Paul with something else on this same trip that you're gonna get to see as well. That video will be coming out next, followed by a scaping video like this. Now, I have a question for everybody. You know, we just moved these flower horns out of this 45 gallon tank into this new 100 gallon tank for Paul. That has left that 45 gallon tank open. Now we talked in this video very briefly about maybe coming back and scaping it. But what do you guys think if I was to come back and scape that 45 gallon tank similar to this waterfall tank that I scaped? I think it'd be a pretty epic looking tank. I mean, the driftwood, the plants, everything. This tank is very low maintenance. Super easy to care for. The waterfall's cool. You have all the pillow moss that's growing, fantastic. Everything in the tank looks fantastic. I mean, let me know what you guys think on whether you think we should go back and scape that 45 gallon tank similar to that one. I think it would be pretty cool. I think Paul would really enjoy it. But with all of that, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you for coming along on this journey with us. If you have not subscribed to my channel, you have not followed me on Instagram, please do that. That now and if you are from my channel and you happen to not subscribe to Paul make sure you go subscribe because Paul is a really great guy takes fantastic care of his animals and does everything he possibly can to give them a great home so make sure you go give Paul a subscribe as well and with all of that hey we will uh, we'll see you next time <laughs>